Hello everybody, this is Danny from Deep South Homestead. Today I want to talk about an old tradition that has um, been in my family for quite some time. Uh, I remember as a child, my dad was a logger. Uh, he did pup wood and then he done logging. And in days it was rainy during the winter time when he couldn't get out and couldn't log or anything like that because it was just too muddy and too wet. My dad always had a fireplace and he'd have a fire going in it and I can remember my dad sitting by the fireplace in his uh, chair. He had a box just like this. He built this box for me uh, years ago. You, uh, you actually put your pecans over on one side of it and as you use this handle and lever you break them and put the, the finished product over on this side here. And I always put my holes back in here. but. I just remember this as a pastime for my dad when he was, you know, back when he was a younger man and I was just a kid. And he's passed this tradition on to me. And we have these pecans now. These are a paper shell pecans. It was given to us by a subscriber. Uh, and yeah, when you use one of these pecan crackers, the back part of it here is, a, is actually adjustable here. This thing screws in and out on the back of it. And you do that because you crack a pecan end to end, but you don't want to crush the pecan, you just want to break the hull. And as I put it in, it depends on, you know, when you, a lot of people grab it and pull it, I don't do that, I just put my hand over it and I just, I just take my hand and hit it until it pops. And once it does that, you can usually pull the hull off of it, it comes off real easy and doesn't give you, you know, too much trouble. And the pecans usually will come out in pretty good pieces and, and that's that's what I try to shoot for is, is is the, you know, the halves on the pecans. That's what I like to get. And not all your pecans are going to be the same size. You know, some of them are a little longer than others. But the good thing about these that uh, we have that was given to us by, I think it was the Foxes from Tanner Pecan company gave us these for Christmas and because they know how much I love to sit and crack pecans and just carry on the tradition of my family and you know see you end up with halves each time it comes out if you just take your time don't get in a hurry and like today I'm sitting here it's uh it's pouring down raining outside there's not not a whole lot I can actually get out there and do so I'm just going to carry on my father's tradition and sit down and crack the cons. And I noticed on some of our videos, other people have made the comment that they like to do the same exact thing. So I know it's not something that's just something my family does. There's evidently a lot of you out there that like to do this. And, and for me, it's just kind of relaxing. It gives me something to do to sit here and just, you know, just, just something about it that kind of feels like the old way of doing things. You know, it's not commercially done. It's it's one of those things that you just sit here and you crack the pecans and, and as you're cracking them, you always have that that time when you look at one of them and you go, you know, kind of makes it worth it. You know, to just sit there and ever so often take you a bite out of one of them. But I just want to pass this video on to y'all and show you some of the some of my pastimes here at Deep South Homestead and some of the things that I do in my downtime. Days like today when it's pouring down and raining outside and it's cold and not a whole lot I can get out there and do. I could go to the shop and do a few things, but every now and then in the house, I just want to sit and chill and crack the cons. Thank y'all from Deep South Homestead.